Nicholas, I just wonder what the um, initial spark of um, inspiration was for Storks. Um, yeah, it was, uh, so it's based on, you know, my older daughter was really uh, easy for my wife and I to have her. We were very lucky and my younger was really hard and we had to uh, go to a lot of fertility clinics and do IVF and all of that. And so kind of that's the emotional kind of underpinning of the movie. But then I was thinking about different ways to tell that story and this idea of a world where storks used to deliver babies but now deliver for Amazon popped into my head and that just seemed like a funny way to talk about that issue. And you've worked extensively in live action comedies before, whereas um, Doug, your background's more in animation. I just wondered how those two sets of experiences fed into one another when you came to direct this movie together. Um, you know, I, I that's largely one of the reasons why I was really drawn to the project, apart from the material, but just the opportunity to work with Nick and 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 see a different a different approach to movie making. So uh, you know, there's a I think there's a period of adjustment just because. You know, because it's they're two different methods, and his is uh, you know really to an extent greater than I really ever could have imagined improv based. It's where like much of our movie I think is mm -hmm. like largely improvised. Um, that that took like a you know some adjustment with like how we cut the film and uh, how we storyboard, storyboarded the film. But I mean everybody as soon as uh, you know people saw the results, everyone kind of came around, and uh, you know I think it's one of the things that gives the movie its unique flavor. Yeah, and it was great. I mean, just the great thing about this industry is get, get to learn about, you know, uh, entirely new things. And, like, it was, for me, a crash course in animation. Like, and I had the best teachers on the planet, like with Doug and Brad, uh, Brad Lewis, our producer, John Benson, our editor, who's cut amazing stuff, and our heads of story who, you know, Matt Flynn and Craig Berry, who came from both Lego Movie, among other stuff. And so it was a great, it was a great experience. It was great to get to, you know, I come at stuff verbally, generally, and to get to push myself visually was a real thrill. And to get to tell something on a giant, a needlessly giant scale <laughs> for such a silly movie was really fun too. And what about putting your voice cast together um, in the same studio, something that rarely happens on animations? Yeah, that was, that was really important to me. Um, you know, I don't, to isolate voice cast always seems like a strange way to do it. Like they're actors, they need to act against someone. And so for, with almost everyone, I had them in the same room at some point in the process. Uh, Junior and Tulo, who are played by Andy Samberg and Katie Crown, they were together almost the entire time. There were very few recording sessions where they were alone. Um, and it gave, it gave the whole movie kind of, you know, there's overlapping dialogue and there's like dialogue that doesn't sound perfect, yeah, which is actually, yeah. which, I, which I like. I like that yeah. kind of rough thing. Um, uh, the improv also, you know, it helped us discover areas and then we would kind of zero in on good areas. But it's not just for comedy, but also for, for I like it for emotional scenes because it gives it kind of an awkward, it gives an emotional scene kind of an awkward uh, 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 kind of edge to it, which makes it feel more real, which then in turn makes it feel more emotional, you know, which is which is um, unique in animated movies. Usually the emotional se scenes in animated movies are like, you, they hit you over the head with it, and it was nice to try something a little off kilter. Yeah, I have to say, because and I've watched the movie a ton, the, the, the fact that the movie still works on me mm -hmm. at this point, like this super late date, is, I don't know, it's attributed to the fact that there's something like that kind of weirdness, it's that the, the, the performances are organic, and that there's always, even upon repeat viewings, there's something sort of unexpected sort of mm -hmm. lying in there. It definitely made me well up and wipe, wipe away a few tears at the end. I just wonder, are there any animations um, that you watched either growing up or more recently that have made you shed a few tears? Oh, I cry so easily in animated movies. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Toy Story 3, when I saw Toy Story 3, I was with my daughter and the, I'd heard it was, it'd make you cry. And I was like, I'm gonna be, I'll be fine. And then it was, the end happens, and I, I kept thinking it was going to be the thing that made me cry, and I just kept not crying. And then Andy's talking to his toys, and I lost my mind, and I was like, I can't yeah. cry as hard as, as I feel like I need to, because <laughs> I'm going to scare my kid. And I was just like, I was like this, like she was here, and I was just like, as like tears were streaming. And then afterwards, my wife, who is kind of cold in this way, she isn't as a person, but with movies, is kind of, you know, every once in a while I'll cry, but basically isn't. She was like... Were you crying because you missed your toys? And I was like, <laughs> No, I wasn't crying because I missed my toys. <laughs> so that that was an, that was an intense experience. Are you crying because you're a baby man? <laughs> I know. Well, like, no. no. Well, she's gonna grow up so soon. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Um, yeah. Oh, I, that was I mean, I can't long, talk. That was a very long story. I, can't talk, I will just say, <laughs> Iron Giant. There was a there was a period where I just watched Iron Giant over and over again, and I couldn't believe it was just like it just like it was like it was like setting a cry bomb or something. <laughs> it's like sure enough when he takes off and he says Superman, it's like oh, God. <laughs> uh, like knowing it's coming didn't uh, allay the the the, the 
waterworks. Doug Nicholas, thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!